Hey, good people. It's Mrs. Car Doctor. Excited to bring you a new series on Alex's channel on how to flip cars, where I'm going to show you the whole process on how Alex and I flip cars from start to finish. Most of you may not know, but I'm a licensed dealer here in Georgia. So I get cars from auctions, trade-ins, private sellers, Alex customers, pretty much anywhere I can get a good deal. I got this one from the auction. And in this video, I'm going to show you how we were able to bring this back to life. Let's talk about the condition of the body. Now, this is a 2006 model, so that makes it 16 years old. It's 2022 right now at the recording of this video, and she looks good. She got a little, little clear coat fading right here on this side of the bumper and the other side, but trust me, I've sold many of cars with fading clear coat. Nobody cares. Okay, if I have enough in a budget, I might do something about it. But most likely, I try to focus all the money on the um, the powertrain of the vehicle. But look at her. she's She looks good. She's going to shine up really nicely. And I will tell you, with working with my husband, he taught me how to see things or how it could be, how good it could shine up. And not what it looks like right now. And even right now, I mean, to me, she looks pretty good. All right, so let me get ready to show you guys the interior. Let's have a look inside. So this has leather interior. There is a rip in the seat, but that's the only rip in the whole car. They do have a, sell a OE factory seat cover that can cover this up and it'll look good as new. Not just a regular janky seat cover, but like a real leather one that looked like it was made to the seat. You got your sunroof up there. The passenger seat looks pretty good, but look at the back. It look like it ain't no, got, ain't no kids back there. I, me and Alex have five kids and I promise you, my back seat do not look like this. Okay, it looked like whoever had it just had a big truck and they didn't really use the back seat, but it looks really good back here. Now let's get into the numbers. As mentioned before, I won this vehicle at an auction. I won it for $875. But as you know, or as some of you may not know, when you're shopping at an auction, you got to pay all kind of fees on top of the price that you want it at. So I paid a $180 buyer fee. I paid a $59 service fee. I still don't know what that was for. And then I paid a $39 internet fee because I bid and won it on the internet. So that brought my total to $1,178. Now, 100% of the time, Alex and I buy these vehicles sight unseen over the internet. So I brought this vehicle knowing that it had a transmission problem because it said it in the listing. I just assumed that I would need to replace the transmission. However, when I actually got the vehicle, it was a different story. The transmission was actually gone. So was the bolts and the transfer case for the 4x4 and the transmission wiring harness was also cut. Definitely wasn't expecting that, but in this business, you do have to prepare for the worst. But don't be alarmed. I went back to the auction and got a good parts truck, one with the engine locked up in it, in high hopes that the transmission would be just fine, and it actually was, and everything I needed was there. I paid eleven eighty eight for it out the door with fees and everything like that. The beautiful part about all of this is I was able to get all that money right back. We went ahead and sold the catalytic converters to the scrap people. And as you can see here, we're junking the body, which brought me about $1,300. So if you subtract the $1,188 that I spent, which I got back, I was actually able to make an extra 100 bucks or so. And this is why I love this business. We're recycling and we're getting good parts for the customer and this was a low mileage expedition by the way and i was able to get what i needed and then some in most cases i would have saved the rims and any other thing for the next expedition that i got but i didn't so um but so we're in the green again So now that we got the work all done, Alex and I have to drive the car to get it ready for emissions. I wanted to mention that I also had the time and chain done on this because it is problematic on this year making model, probably other ones too, but um, we did replace it and it cost me about $500 for the chain set. I do try to do things um, while I have the vehicle that w won't cause my customer a headache later on so alex is driving hey babe um we have to go get a part for one of his customers from a far away dealership so it was the per perfect opportunity to drive the car and i don't mind it because it gives me a chance to find issues or for the check engine light to come on so most of the time i drive the cars as well after alex drives them just to drive it from a 
consumer standpoint, if you will, I guess, to see if I feel anything that Alex may have missed. But so far, this is a smooth riding truck. And um, I would just say what he's, what he's already said is I, he feels a little vibration in the seat and that's normally pointing to rear rotors and a shutter when I turn. So um, something in the rear end uh, needs to be serviced. So we're gonna get it back to the shop and get those items done. There's still room in the budget for that. I'm still gonna clear a pretty good profit off of this. I just wanna sell, y'all wanna sleep at night knowing that I'm gonna sell a good car that I did you know put a lot into so anywho i'm driving so no filming and driving it's not safe see you back at the shop back at the shop alice and his crew went ahead and changed uh the brakes and rotors all the way around but this rear rotor right here i don't know if you can tell but it definitely was warped and i can definitely feel it um but if i'm talking weird it's because i'm trying not to mix up the words <laughs> but uh right's great now we did go ahead and pass 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 the emissions no pending codes or nothing like that it passed so i'm very happy about that and ready to put it up for sale now that the repair process is over we can get to the washing and the vacuuming and the cleaning of the vehicle this is one of our cleaner ones so we try to do these ourselves um most of the time we'll hire a mobile detail guy or run it through the car wash but in this case it was really uh clean compared to some other ones that we've bought so alex didn't mind uh washing it and plus he had a little time on his hands and he enjoys doing so um plus he's super cute to look at if i say so myself and i know mostly guys are watching this but hey i gotta put it out there um so he's hard at work cleaning up the vehicle getting it show ready for the internet one thing i love about my husband is when he is doing something he always goes the extra mile you got to think when you're putting these cars up for sale you are in competition with other dealers or private sellers that may have the same vehicle up for sale as well so you want to make sure that your unit is looking the best that it possibly could Plus, fun fact, Alex enjoys getting uh, cars ready for sale more than he likes fixing cars because it makes him more money in the long run. And here she is. Alex cleaned her up well enough for me. Like I said, it wasn't that bad to begin with. But the little extra little buff, little, little wash, it turned made her nice and cute. And now she's ready to show herself to the world and find her new owner. I put my vehicles on Facebook Marketplace, offer up um, and online, but so far Facebook Marketplace has been my go-to place to get these things sold. So um, uploaded nice pictures of the interior, all the pictures that I can take, um, I put them up there. And in the description, I put, you know, everything works, has current emissions and things like that. And I got it out there for $6,000. You can't, you have to put no trades because people will message you and say, hey, I give you a boat or a motorcycle. I'm in this to make money, you know, so you got to kind of put that out there. So it took me about two weeks to sell this vehicle after I put it on Facebook Marketplace. I got about 20 inquiries on it and um, some people offered me $4,500. Some people offered me $3,000, but it's tax time and I'm smart enough to know to be patient when I'm selling these vehicles. Um, it's I put it up there for what the blue book value said that I should. And I know that I put a lot of time and effort into it. And so um, while you may get a lot of inquiries, it's good to be patient and wait for that right buyer because somebody is going to buy it and recognize what a val value it is. And some people just want something for nothing. And I wasn't really tripping about being patient because I was also able to sell this truck in the meantime for $2,500, making me a $1,500 profit. Because life happens and, you know, things doesn't always go smooth all the time, we lost the title. Somewhere in between the time where we junked the parts expedition and now we've misplaced the title. We looked for it and looked for it, but couldn't find it, which is causing a 30 day delay in getting the title to the new customer. Now we explained the situation to her and she still wanted it. 
and was cool about the delay. So we decided for her inconvenience, we're going to take her car to her since she drove all the way from Warner Robins, Georgia and had to leave it anyway so she can have someone to help her get it back home. So for her convenience, we took it to her. Warner Robins was an hour and a half um, from Atlanta. So we hopped in a truck about 6 30 7 a.m to do a three hour round trip to drop the expedition off to its new owner she was very appreciative and happy with the truck so we were happy to do it now i'm not carvana or room and i don't intend to do this all the time but for the sake of this deal and um to provide good customer service i was happy to do it after it's all said and done i made about three thousand dollars profit Remember, I got the car from the auction for $1,178. I had Alex and his crew install a time and chain set. The part cost me about $500. We also did brakes and rotors all the way around, which cost me about $200. And you can't forget about labor. I mean, just because I'm married to the guy don't mean I don't have to pay. <laughs> I have to pay his crew so they can get paid. And he asked me on a special um, labor rate or sometimes we agree to do like a flat rate situation. So I gave the shop $1,000. I'm not going to factor in the parks truck because that was technically free since I got all of my money back off of it. Now, at the time of the sale, I was about $2,878 in. I sold it for $6,000, netting me a profit of about $3,000. And I'm very happy with that profit. I got all of my original money back for the next investment, which may not even cost that much. And I took some money home for my family. So I'm very, very happy with that. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button and go ahead and subscribe because there are going to be many, many more flip videos to come. I've already have several flips lined up for recording and editing and putting them on here so you guys can see the process. Until then, I'll see you guys in Alex's next video. Mrs. Car Doctor out.